guys have enjoyed my latest, latest videos. This is my final video on my four part video of 10 things you must see and do while at all four parks. Um, this time though, I will be doing 11 things <coughs> mainly because I have found that there's 11 things you can still do while you're at Hollywood Studios. And if I miss something, please let me know because there are a lot of things you can still do at Hollywood Studios that still take a day. And it's great. Number one is the Citizens of Hollywood. Now, Citizens of Hollywood are great sideshows. And if I could, I would sit down in Hollywood Studios on a bench and watch the shows all day. However, in the next few weeks, 10 of the 29 cast members that play the Citizens of Hollywood will be released soon. So, I don't know who or what, but, um... Yeah, I can definitely keep you guys posted if that's what you guys would like me to do. Um, I'm a little bummed out myself while we were just last there. We made friends, really good friends, and basically family. Shout out to my family! Dorma Nesmond, I love her. She's so good. Um, yeah, I hope she's not leaving us because she's pretty cool and we want to see her again in May. Spoiler alert, that's where our next trip is. Whoop whoop! Alright. So definitely check out the Citizens of Hollywood. They are hilarious. We watched some of their skits and everything. It was just one of the best things on earth. Anyway, number two, Tower of Terror. Now this is a Haunted Mansion hat, but Tower of Terror is one of those things where you've got to go and see it. Because, and ride it, and experience it, because it's awesome. Now not to scare you, but to scare you, the last drop is actually pulling you faster than gravity can drop you, which is why you feel weightless for a few seconds, which is so cool, right? Mm -hmm. Number three, the Rock and Roller Coaster. Rock and Roller Coaster! <laughs> is one of those rides where you've got to ride it. If you're an adrenaline junkie like I am, you've got to ride it. However, if you are get sick in enclosed spaces or dark spaces, because it is really dark in the ride, all you ever see is neon lights and some of the track ahead of you if you're in the front, and then you could get motion sickness, but just know that because the rock and roller coaster is so smooth, those of you those of you with neck and back problems, although still have to keep caution, um, are not as mad because my mom can even ride it, which is pretty cool, right? Yeah, I think so. Alright, number four is the Great Movie Ride. Now this ride is about 45 minutes long. I love it because it shows some history of the movie making and some movies that you wouldn't think about all the time. Some movies like Alien and like Wizard of Oz and stuff like that. Well or no movies, but also some other movies I can't remember the names of because I just enjoyed it too much and the show. So no, and then that's presented by TCM, so turn classic movies. Number five is the Toy Story Midway Mania. Now, it's going to be... <laughs> If you are there when the park opens, get to Toy Story Midway Mania first. You may think Rock and Roller Coaster and Tower of Terror have the longest waits, but oh no, that wait is nothing. Toy Story Midway Mania is actually a 100 minute wait most of the time we were there this last trip, and we were there for 8 days. 8 days, count them. And that is crazy, especially when you think Toy Story is kind of not it's popular anymore, but it's still popular, and it's awesome. However, no update, little update thingy. Disney is actually closing the ride down for a few weeks and refurbishing it to connect the last building that they have uh, just built with the newest track for Fast Passes, we believe are Fast Passes. Um, so that way the lines are shorter. So know that that's going to be closed for a while. Um, I'm not quite sure of the date, so you'd have to check up on that. But know that I know that it is closing. Look that up for when you're going. And yeah, so number five. That's number five. All right. Number six, Indiana Jones Stunt Spectacular. Don't miss this show. It is so good. Sometimes, however, because of safety procedures, they have to skip some scenes. Like our last trip, we just had to, we, they had to skip one scene because they didn't feel safe that enough with the truck that blew up. Um, we were, sorry. Um, but know that because it is a high risk show, that can happen. So don't get too frustrated with it. I know it's like a little frustrating and all that, but it is, um, high risk and they need to keep their people safe. So... Definitely check out that show. It's so good. All right, number seven 
It is Beauty and the Beast live on stage. This is a definite classic story retold in a very fast 20 minutes. I believe it's 20 minutes. Again, don't trust me with no numbers. Um, but definitely check it out because it's a wonderful little show. I love it because it helps my feet and it also is beautiful and definitely wear the fast pass because you don't want to wait in line for it because it's more like mm. um number eight is star wars launch bay you gotta check this out you get to meet kylo ren and chewbacca rumors say that there's gonna be ezra bridger and sabine coming but don't don't trust rumors just know that those could happen but anyway star wars launch bay is great check out the little movie beforehand it is awesome too um number nine Frozen Sing Along, we watched it twice, and it's not because of the songs, but because of the people who host it, and their beautiful little remarks, and the funny adult jokes, and all those great things are awesome, and that's what makes the show, it is awesome, and it snows, and it's beautiful, and it's, it's a, a lot of fun, enjoy that, so definitely see that. Number 10 is Star Tours. You don't want to miss Star Tours if you're in Hollywood Studios. I mean, it's awesome. And it just came out with a few new scenes. I mean, by just came out, I mean like a month and a half ago when Star Wars Force Awakens came out. But still, check it out. It's so good. And number 11, my final one is the Star Wars Fireworks. You don't want to miss those because they are awesome. And they're beautiful and they're gorgeous and it's just one of those better fireworks shows you don't want to miss so yeah you guys i hope you guys enjoyed my four-part video of all these things um stay tuned for some of my other videos i'm hoping to come out soon i hope you guys enjoyed this video keep an eye out for the next few and um thanks guys hope you guys have fun and comment below what your countdown is for your disney trip i'd love to know thanks guys love guys bye peace